Now, people from the St. Paul's area of Bristol have been teaching one of the country's top chefs how to make food Bristol style. The local cooks gave the celebrity Jamie Oliver a few lessons mm. and tonight they'll appear on his national programme about what influences our food. Michelle Pascal has been to the restaurant Rice and Things and here's a little taste. This is the rice and here are the things. The chef at this restaurant on Cheltenham Road has been showing Jamie Oliver how to cook, Jamaican style. Jamaican fried chicken, a bit of steamed veg. Over here we've got some curry goat, nice, tender, very succulent. Jamaican national dish, ackee and saltfish. Their sheer devotion for food kept them locked in the kitchen from 6 a.m. till 11 p.m. Actually, we did about 12 or 15 different dishes together. You know, from jerk chicken to escovitch fish, brown stew fish, vegetarian dishes, curried goat, oxtail, you name it. Aki and saltfish, down to making salads and coleslaw the way we make it. It's all about highlighting how Britain's rich culture has been influenced by the diversity of foods from different cultures. What Jamie has done, he has just incorporated all of that with the British spices to show us how we get these lovely foods on our table and where they are coming from. But there are also some culinary delights that can still be gathered closer to home, foraging in the woods. Basically showing him how close to Bristol you could be and still find lots of wild ingredients and how we use the wild ingredients on our menu, basically. So I took him up to Abbott's Pool, the other side of uh, Ashton Court, showed him around, we found some wild mushrooms, we were very lucky to find some, and then we cooked them in a field up at Abbott's Lee, which was really nice. We've got wood bluets here, which are really nice, lovely purpley underneath, they smell a little bit like aniseed, porcini. And what are these? These ones are uh, common puffballs, just little woodland puffballs, they need to be skinned first. A vehicle for flavour, I'd say, you know, something you'd cook with and it would hold all the flavour in the pan. The inspiration for new foods came with the ships that travelled up the Avon when Bristol was a thriving international port. Those ships have now gone, but the legacy of fine foods from around the world remains. Michelle Pascal, BBC Points West, Bristol. Oh, it's normally about this time of day that a little taster comes into the studio, but <laughs> Michelle obviously didn't get that memo. What a yeah. shame, I'm starving yeah. now. <laughs>